Hey Sagittarius, so I'm going to do your reading. We're going to see what your messages are at this time. Just keep in mind while you're listening to the reading that this is a general message. So if it doesn't make sense, do not force this to fit your situation, okay? Thank you guys for your love and your support on the channel. I really appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and get started and we're going to see what, um, what messages come out for you guys at this time, okay? So I see don't trust this person. And then I see Libra. So Spirit may be telling you not to trust a Libra or you could be a Libra. And Spirit is saying, don't trust this person. Okay? So listen to your intuition. This could be a confirmation for you. Spirit, tell me more. Tell me more about this reading for the collective. Spirit, tell me more. What else do you have? So I'm picking up on this flaky energy. <laughs> Somebody's not really sure about what they want. This could be this Libra. Do you love me? This person could be asking you, do you love me? Do you care about me? The spirit is saying, don't trust this. Do not trust this. <laughs> okay, do not. That's like a strong, absolutely no. No. Okay, you could be a Taurus or maybe dealing with a Taurus. All right. Taurus could be saying, do you love me? I see right eye twitching. Good news. So your right eye, um, that could be a message that good news is on the way to you. Let's do one more. And then we have hidden info, lies, documents, conversations behind your back. Okay. And it's, so somebody thinks that they are slick. This time around, I trust myself. Listen to your intuition. Somebody really thinks that they are getting one over on you. They think that they're hiding um, their themselves from you. The real them. Okay, this person is a liar. This could be a Libra or a Taurus. Okay, whoever this person is. Um, Spirit is asking you or reminding you to listen to your instincts. Go with what feels right. Okay. A chain has been broken. Butterfly. So there's definitely a change here in the situation. Let's get into this message a little bit deeper. Okay. Spirit, tell me more. So for some of you, you may have already made this decision. You may have already um, figured this person out. That they can't be trusted. Okay. Tell me about this hidden info. We have lies, documents, conversations behind your back. Okay, tell me about that, Spirit. Forest is here. It says muddled, unclear thinking. So for a period of time, this person lied to you. And I feel like they were really good at it. They caused you to be, you know, a little bit confused about... Who they really were to you or how they really felt about you. You may have thought that this person loved you. They may have told you, like, I love you. And it was a lie, okay? And I feel like you are disappointed. It says, flute, disappointment in a friend or lover. So this could be a friend or somebody that you were in a romantic situation with or a family member. Kind of take it how it fits. Spirit, tell me about don't trust this person. Because they're a liar, okay? They cause so many issues and problems in your life. It says problems to be resolved with this ink pot here. So they have a problem. Target, a goal-oriented person, okay? So this person may be coming towards you because you are a problem solver, okay? You know how to handle problems. You are very good at overcoming obstacles. They have an issue. So I'm hearing butter you up. They may want to give you some type of gift or, you know, whisper sweet nothings in your ear because they have a problem. So they are, they're trying to get some type of problem solved. Okay, tell me about, do you love me? Caterpillar. I used to, that's what. <laughs> Caterpillar came out and says, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. That's <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah, you used to love this person, but change is here, okay? Spirit, tell me about uh, right eye twitching. Good news. That is funny. Love, yeah. Wow. 
for some of you, you have real love in your life now, okay? That's the blessing or that's the good news. You know what love is, okay? That's the good news. Tell me about Libra. Spirit. Sun, okay? Happiness and well-being. So you could be a Libra um, and a good energy, okay? Good vibes. So you could be a Libra dealing with a Taurus. Tell me about this Taurus spirit. Thank you. Rainbow. Okay, so Spirit wants you to know, Libra, that um, the most difficult part of the situation is over. Okay? In the beginning of the reading, when I was shuffling this deck, I saw good health. So you may have been going through a, you know, a situation surrounding your health, maybe mental health. Spirit is saying the most difficult part of that situation is over. So you can look forward to feeling better, to feeling lighter. Spirit, tell me about this Taurus. I'm not going to take all of these, but I see Apple here. Temptation will test you. I see August and I see Shield. You need to defend yourself. So maybe in the month of April, the month of August, um, there's going to be some type of temptation. And Spirit wants you to protect yourself, possibly from a Taurus. But I just want to get one card. Spirit, tell me about this Taurus. That. So for some of you, the enemy is a Taurus. Okay, that's not for everybody, but that's just what I'm seeing. Take care. Enemies are working against you. This person is stubborn. So they have, they may have Taurus in their chart. But I really feel like they have some type of issue here. There is a problem. Okay. And Spirit is giving you a heads up not to trust this person. Um, you don't have to solve this person's problems. Okay. Continue to heal, continue to focus on, you know, what you have going on, your own personal goals, okay? This person is coming towards you from a place of, I need your help, okay? And, you know, there's nothing wrong with helping people, but with this one right here, this is somebody that you need to guard yourself from. They are not who they say they are, and I feel like you know this, okay? This is the type of person who will say anything, you know, really talk about you like a dog behind your back um, just to get you to believe um, whatever they want you to believe, okay? This is the type of person that you really can't trust, okay? They may like to... They, I kind of feel like this is the type of person who just lies on command, you know? Like, I, this person lies. That's just what they do. That's crazy. There's people out here that just lie for the hell of it. Or because they're really good at it. Or, they, or because they... Feel like you'll believe them let's see about this problem so this reading is like a heads up spirit tell me about um this problem thank you spirit i see the ace of pentacles here yeah and then i see the nine of wands here reverse this card says stubbornness okay so i'm picking up that taurus energy Refusing to compromise. Yeah, this is somebody who wants, they want what they want, okay? This is somebody who, um, you may have walked away from this person. It's like you threw your hands up, like, I'm done dealing with this. But this person is saying, I'm not done with you? What? So you may, okay, so you're coming across very pros um, prosperous, secure is what I'm seeing. Your energy feels solid, okay? You've been working on yourself. You've been healing, okay? So you have this internal glow that I'm seeing, okay? And, yeah, so your light is attracting this specific person here. Tell me more about this problem, Spirit, that this person has. Let's just see what comes up. Yeah, Queen of Cups. You may have been picking up on this person's energy, Okay, you may be very intuitive. You can kind of tell that they want to say something to you or they want to reach out to you. Spirit, tell me about, do you love me? Do you love me? Yeah, I feel like for some of you, you do have love for this person, but you're loving them from a distance. Um... And that was the lesson for some of you, to love this person in, from a distance, okay? So I don't know who this is for you, but Spirit is saying the most difficult part in this situation, you have overcome that, okay? Um, it's over. 
So you can look forward to positive changes happening, okay? Because you are learning the lessons. You're not holding on to people or situations that don't want to be held on to. Six of Pentacles is here. So you're, so you, again, like, you are somebody who's very loving, very kind, um, will give somebody the shirt off of your back, but not everybody. I was just having this conversation yesterday with my mom. Not, and she's a Libra. And not, you know, what were we talking about? Not, um, everybody doesn't have the same heart that you have, you know? That's what I'm seeing here. So, the way that you want to take care of a person or the way that you would be there and support uh, an individual is not the same with this that this um, person would be there for you, okay? So, and I feel like you see that and you have made changes, okay? You've learned a lesson, okay? Ooh, so this person feels a little, so this is like egg on their face. They look a little, a little salty. Like, maybe I should come around? Because they're not normally, this is the type of person who is set in their ways, okay? Um, but whatever happened last, whatever the last interaction is, they do look foolish, okay? There, there may be some regrets that this person has. Tell me about the five. Thank you, yeah devious withdrawn i'm just reading here it says cold overwhelmed selfish so their devious and selfish ways have caused them hum humiliation 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 okay has caused them to look um like the selfish individual that they are so they can see this Or you can see this. You may have said this to this person. You may have, you know, told this person about themselves. For some of you, this person is very emotional. Because you're reading them, okay? Like you just put up a mirror to this person and they don't like what they see. But you kind of have them on stuck is what I'm seeing. Like you have them reflecting on that last interaction, that last conversation. You may have gotten a lot off your chest, released a lot, released this person with love. Okay, people can't stand that when you let them go with love. Like I don't have no ill feelings for you. I don't, you know, wish, wish, you know, all your downfall. I wish you receive whatever you want in life or whatever. Like you may have said something that was from a place of love to this person and they look stupid now. Because you didn't do anything to them, but love them. Somebody doesn't know how to accept love. Hmm. Yeah, but see, this is, this, okay. So this is where the game plan kind of comes into place. It's like when you were trying to give them love, they didn't want it. Now that you removed your love and you're not, you know, tending to their every need or nurturing them or supporting them for, or supporting them or having any type of, you know, connection with them. Now they feel lonely. Now they feel like they don't have love and it's because you pushed it away. What do you want me to do? OK, so for some of you, this person is kind of reflecting and just thinking about how lonely they are, thinking that, you know, they miss your love. They miss the connection. But I'm also seeing with this Queen of Wands here, this person is they are who they are. OK, um, they may never say these things or they may never own up to their real emotions or their real feelings. But you know what it is, is what I'm seeing. I feel like um, this may be the type of person who does a lot of covering up. Yeah, a lot of covering up, spins stories that benefit them always. You know, this person is really good at lying, okay? So they may be talking about what happened between you two and they're spinning the story to make it look like um, something that is not, okay? Don't even worry about that because it's not, it, it's a waste of energy. It's a waste of time. This person is underdeveloped, 
mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and they if they want to work on that, they can. But you may, for some of you, some information may come back to you, or you may just, you know, see this person for who they are, or spirit may even be giving you downloads or information about the truth of this this person and how they really feel for you. Listen to your intuition. Don't even feel bad, okay? You know, don't even feel bad. It is what it is. Some people just don't want to, they don't want to grow. It's like, what do you do with that? With somebody who just doesn't want to grow? Yeah, you sever ties. You let it go because you're not about to let this person stunt your growth, are you? I don't see you doing that. I'm also seeing um, you've made a decision. You've already made a decision for some of you. Okay, don't be confused about the decisions that you're making. Listen to your intuition, okay? Spirit, tell me, I just want to see a little bit about this hidden info. Thank you, Spirit. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, five of Wands here. This person could be talking about your successes, your fi I'm seeing finances, your, your um, achievements in life. And it's like, again, they're twisting the story to make it fit them. So it's like they, they're they trying to, you know, paint themselves out to be this hero. So I'm just seeing that they're talking um, to a group of people. I see, but they go home. See, this is the weird, this is weird. So they talk about you to make themselves feel feel good during the day and then they go home and they lay down by themselves okay lonely as ever wishing that they could talk to you wishing that you know you would pick up the phone and call them but you're not you stand you know you're standing in your power you're not <laughs> you're not backing down so then they go home and they feel bad like this person has a problem for some of you this person really has a problem with keeping it real hmm okay they have a problem with that they can't it's hard for them to be who they who they are because who they are it's embarrassing if people really knew who this person was it would be an embarrassment because why are you like this <laughs> why are you like this but with this sun card coming out this is saying what happens in the dark okay most certainly comes to the light all right so whether or not you see um people seeing this person for who they are it will be revealed okay people are gonna see that this person is a liar okay that this person likes to gossip that this person feeds off of drama that somehow every single situation that they deal with they are always the ones that are being mistreated or they're always the one you know to be the hero in the situation like there is they come across as more than what they really are and people are seeing that okay so if this person has been lying on your name or talking about you behind your back don't even worry about this person they're telling on themselves and it is embarrassing okay so tell me about love and this good news. Yeah, six of wands. I feel like for those of you that are dealing with a this person from a romantic, you know, sense, they're just mad because you said no. You know, they're just they're mad because you decided to move on and you want to change. You want something that is balanced and you know fair and equal. That's what you want. And that's good that you want that. You want to be loved the way that you give love. Okay? And because this person wasn't giving you that love, you decided to bounce is what I'm seeing. You decided to leave. Okay? And go after what really makes you feel good. And Spirit is saying that was the move. That was what you were supposed to do. You handled the situation exactly how you were supposed to. You learned the lesson. So, there's this. basically, this person is mad because you've learned. You're growing. That's what it really boils down to. And they're not. Okay? So, let them stay where they're at. Don't be confused about how, why this person is um, the way that they are. How, why they feel this way. Why they're, you know, they're doing these things to you or talking behind your back. It's because 
it's because this person is choosing this. They don't want to heal. They don't want to become a better version of themselves. This person, um, they feed off of that selfish energy. Um, they think it's, um... They think it's a benefit that they... All right, you guys. Sorry about the interruption. I was just saying this person feels like it's a benefit that they're devious and that they're selfish and that they lie. Like, they think that makes them look cool. Like, it just makes you look a little bit weird. Really weird. Like, you're, you're lying to a group of people and then you go home and you feel sad about lying. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that... Why? <laughs> Anyways, Spirit wants you to keep, you know, doing what you do, you're doing. Keep listening to your intuition. It's really good that you detach from that type of energy because you don't need that, okay? You really don't. All right, you guys. I'm going to leave this one here. I do hope it was helpful. If so, you can like, share, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later, okay? Bye.